you for joining us today for this brief recap of Miami's state of the market. My name is Sebastian Vallejo, Managing Director of Brown Harris Stevens Miami Beach. As the year comes to an end, it's inevitable to wonder what's going to happen next year. Well, it's impossible to accurately predict what forces will drive the market next year, but one thing we can do is to look into the current trends and see where they will most likely take us so we can make better decisions for the upcoming year. With our consumer index price down from 3.2% in October to 3.1% in November, we're now almost at a third of the 9.1% rate that raised alarms back in June 2022. So with a clearly contained inflation, we see mortgage rates getting less and less restrictive as we near the end of 2023. Coming down from a year high of 7.79% in the 30-year fix to a 7.03 mid-December, we should expect these rates to keep falling slightly through 2024. This is starting to reflect on an increase in finance home and a bit of a kickstart to the market in the past couple of weeks. Winter season is also back and we see the traditional high season starting to take shape again with higher volume of listings, showings and offers that should translate into higher number of closings. Take the Coral Gables single family home market for example. We have 35% more listings than last month and closings are up 20% these past 30 days compared to the previous month with very constant average closing prices. Pinecrest closings are up 9% and North Miami 17%. The Miami single family home market has behaved a bit differently with 30% fewer closings but with an average selling price almost double the one for the previous 30 days. Our condo market has seen the slowdown hit average prices the most. Brickle has maintained the same number of closings, but with an average closing price down 20% from $930,000 the previous month to $753,000 these past 30 days. Miami Beach condo market shows the same trend with a similar number of closings, yet a 25% reduction in the average selling price from $1,020,000 to $775,000 this past month. So what we see here is an overall increase in confidence in our Miami market, which should allow for a steady increase in the number and volume of transactions through the end of 2023 and allowing for a healthy kickoff at the beginning of next year. Okay, this is it for our latest recap of the Miami real estate market. And it just shows the importance of understanding every single market before making the right decision. If you have any real estate questions or are looking to buy or sell your home, feel free to reach out to me and I'll connect you with an expert in the area. Come to Miami, we'll bring more sunny days to your life.